What's up everybody? Um, got some more of this peak refuel tryout today. Sweet pork and rice. So that's two servings, 40 grams of protein per pouch. Check out our ingredients and nutrition information. in the camera. Okay, go over this way. Go over here. Alright, let's give it a rip. Let's see what we got in there. And our oxygen absorber is right on the top. So that's always nice. Wow. Looks a little funky. Smells really good though. That big chunk right there is all shredded pork. But it's got corn and black beans, rice obviously, uh, red bell pepper and green uh, chili. Anyways, let's get our water in there, because I'm hungry. And this one needs uh, one and one third cups of boiling water. All right, so one and one third cups of water. Doesn't seem like a lot of water, but we'll see how it turns out. Oh wow, that smells really good once you get the water in there. Alright, seal this up and I'll be back in 15 minutes. What's it say on here? 10 minutes. But I'll wait 15. I'll get some of that air out of there. Get more water to stay in. Alright, everybody. This is actually kind of smelling through the zip seal here. Let's see what we got. Well, doesn't look totally appealing. But that is a lot of shredded beef. And you can really smell that brown sugar. Yeah, brown sugar, pork. You get a little bit of pepper smell and uh, some corn, I guess. But let's get that into my bowl. So this one's probably just gonna come out in one big chunk oh yeah thick super thick oh that part didn't really reconstitute but it's all right mix it in This is a very sticky one. Probably should have did a cup and a half instead of a cup and a third, but. Wow, big chunk of pork right there. Depending on how well it reconstituted, I might have to just throw it away.
Got some nice colors going on. All right, so flavor-wise, it's pretty sweet, but savory at the same time. You get the sweetness from the brown sugar, molasses, and stuff like that. I don't really taste much vinegar, but uh, the pork's really nice. The black beans and the corn add a nice flavor and texture. But uh, it's very sticky and thick. Probably do use a cup and a half of water. Or maybe put this inside of a tortilla. So it does have a very, very nice flavor. Texture, it's a little off. It actually feels kind of grainy. Um, since it didn't use enough water, the uh, beans are still a little bit tough. The corn's alright. I don't know. I'll finish this off and uh, give you my final thoughts on it. Alright, so I wonder if that one wasn't a mispackage. So as you can see on here, you get a little bit of pork and a whole lot of rice. I ended up with pretty much all pork and just a little bit of rice. It'd be definitely worth checking another package just to make sure. But uh, if it does come like that all the time, then that would be like perfect put on like some hamburger buns with some barbecue sauce that would be freaking sweet uh, put them in some tortillas with some barbecue sauce son of a I just realized this thing's been running this whole time and it picks that up more than it picks me up <sighs> too late now but uh, yeah, flavor-wise, it's really good. It's got a nice uh, barbecue pork flavor to it, just without barbecue sauce. Um, yeah. Texture is a little off, and it definitely needs more water than what it says to use. Um, but it's actually really good. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to get comparative to Mountain House, uh, the Mountain House sweet and sour pork is more of a Oriental. You know, sweet and sour pork it just tastes like sweet and sour sauce, which is also really freaking good. So, but this one's a totally different dish. It's more uh, southwestern, I guess, like uh, Texas or something. I don't know. I don't know much about barbecue stuff, so I just know that it would be good with barbecue sauce. But yeah, y'all take care, stay safe, and uh, thanks for watching.